Ezekiel chapter 23 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, there were two women, daughters of the same mother. They became prostitutes in Egypt, engaging in prostitution from their youth. In that land their breasts were fondled and their virgin bosoms caressed. The elder one was named Ahola, and her sister was Aholibah. They were mine and gave birth to sons and daughters. Ahola is Samaria, and Aholibah is Jerusalem. Ahola engaged in prostitution while she was still mine, and she lusted after her lovers, the Assyrians, warriors clothed in blue, governors and commanders, all of them handsome young men and mounted horsemen. She gave herself as a prostitute to all the elite of the Assyrians and defiled herself with all the idols of everyone she lusted after. She did not give up the prostitution she began in Egypt, when during her youth men slept with her, caressed her virgin bosom, and poured out their lust on her. Therefore I delivered her into the hands of her lovers, the Assyrians, for whom she lusted. They stripped her naked, took away her sons and daughters, and killed her with the sword. She became a byword among women, and punishment was inflicted on her. Her sister, Aholibah, saw this. Yet in her lust and prostitution she was more depraved than her sister. She too lusted after the Assyrians, governors and commanders, warriors in full dress, mounted horsemen, all handsome young men. I saw that she too defiled herself. Both of them went the same way. But she carried her prostitution still further. She saw men portrayed on a wall, figures of Chaldeans portrayed in red, with belts round their waists and flowing turbans on their heads. All of them looked like Babylonian chariot officers, natives of Chaldea. As soon as she saw them, she lusted after them and sent messengers to them in Chaldea. Then the Babylonians came to her to the bed of love, and in their lust they defiled her. After she had been defiled by them, she turned away from them in disgust. When she carried on her prostitution openly and exposed her naked body, I turned away from her in disgust, just as I had turned away from her sister. Yet she became more and more promiscuous, as she recalled the days of her youth, when she was a prostitute in Egypt. There she lusted after her lovers, whose genitals were like those of donkeys, and whose omission was like that of horses. So you longed for the lewdness of your youth, where in Egypt your bosom was caressed and your young breasts fondled. Therefore, Aholibah, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will stir up your lovers against you, those you turned away from in disgust, and I will bring them against you from every side. The Babylonians and all the Chaldeans, the men of Pekod and Shoah, and Koa, and all the Assyrians with them, handsome young men, all of them governors and commanders, chariot officers and men of high rank, all mounted on horses. They will come against you with weapons, chariots, and wagons, and with a throng of people. They will take up positions against you on every side with large and small shields and with helmets. I will turn you over to them for punishment and they will punish you according to their standards. I will direct my jealous anger against you, and they will deal with you in fury. They will cut off your noses and your ears, and those of you who are left will fall by the sword. They will take away your sons and daughters, and those of you who are left will be consumed by fire. They will also strip you of your clothes, and take your fine jewellery. So I will put a stop to the lewdness and prostitution you began in Egypt. You will not look 
look on these things with longing or remember Egypt any more. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am about to deliver you into the hands of those you hate, to those you turned away from in disgust. They will deal with you in hatred and take away everything you have worked for. They will leave you stark naked, and the shame of your prostitution will be exposed. Your lewdness and promiscuity have brought this on you because you lusted after the nations and defiled yourself with their idols. You have gone the way of your sister, so I will put her cup into your hand. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. You will drink your sister's cup, a cup large and deep. It will bring scorn and derision, for it holds so much. You will be filled with drunkenness and sorrow, the cup of ruin and desolation, the cup of your sister Samaria. You will drink it and drain it dry and chew on its pieces, and you will tear your breasts. I have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Since you have forgotten me and turned your back on me, you must bear the consequences of your lewdness and prostitution. The Lord said to me, Son of man, will you judge Ahola and Aholiba? Then confront them with their detestable practices, for they have committed adultery and blood is on their hands. They committed adultery with their idols. They even sacrificed their children, whom they bore to me, as food for them. They have also done this to me. At the same time they defiled my sanctuary and desecrated my Sabbaths. On the very day they sacrificed their children to their idols, they entered my sanctuary and desecrated it. That is what they did in my house. They even sent messengers for men who came from far away, and when they arrived, you bathed yourself for them, applied eye makeup, and put on your jewelry. You sat on an elegant couch with a table spread before it on which you had placed the incense and olive oil that belonged to me. The noise of a carefree crowd was around her. Drunkards were brought from the desert, along with men from the rabble, and they put bracelets on the wrists of the woman and her sister, and beautiful crowns on their heads. Then I said about the one worn out by adultery, Now let them use her as a prostitute, for that is all she is. And they slept with her. As men sleep with a prostitute, so they slept with those lewd women, Ahola and Aholiba. But righteous judges will sentence them to the punishment of women who commit adultery and shed blood, because they are adulterous and blood is on their hands. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Bring a mob against them and give them over to terror and plunder. The mob will stone them and cut them down with their swords. They will kill their sons and daughters and burn their houses. So I will put an end to lewdness in the land, that all women may take warning and not imitate you. You will suffer the penalty for your lewdness and bear the consequences of your sins of idolatry. Then you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. Ezekiel chapter 24 in the ninth year, in the tenth month on the tenth day, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, record this date, this very date, because the king of Babylon has laid siege to Jerusalem this very day. Tell this rebellious people a parable and say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. Put on the cooking pot. Put it on and pour water into it. Put into it the pieces of meat, all the choice pieces, the leg and the shoulder. Fill it with the best of these bones. Take the pick of the flock. 
Pile wood beneath it for the bones. Bring it to the boil and cook the bones in it. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Woe to the city of bloodshed, to the pot now encrusted, whose deposit will not go away. Take the meat out piece by piece, in whatever order it comes. For the blood she shed is in her midst. She poured it on the bare rock. She did not pour it on the ground where the dust would cover it. To stir up wrath and take revenge, I put her blood on the bare rock, so that it would not be covered. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Woe to the city of bloodshed. I too will pile the wood high. So heap on the wood and kindle the fire. Cook the meat well, mixing in the spices, and let the bones be charred. Then set the empty pot on the coals, till it becomes hot and its copper glows, so that its impurities may be melted and its deposit burned away. It has frustrated all efforts. Its heavy deposit has not been removed, not even by fire. Now your impurity is lewdness. Because I tried to cleanse you, but you would not be cleansed from your impurity, you will not be clean again until my wrath against you has subsided. I, the Lord, have spoken. The time has come for me to act. I will not hold back. I will not have pity, nor will I relent. You will be judged according to your conduct and your actions, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, with one blow I am about to take away from you the delight of your eyes. Yet do not lament, or weep, or shed any tears. Groan quietly, do not mourn for the dead. Keep your turban fastened and your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your moustache and beard, or eat the customary food of mourners. So I spoke to the people in the morning, and in the evening my wife died. The next morning I did as I had been commanded. Then the people asked me, Won't you tell us what these things have to do with us? Why are you acting like this? So I said to them, The word of the Lord came to me. Say to the people of Israel, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am about to desecrate my sanctuary the stronghold in which you take pride, the delight of your eyes, the object of your affection. The sons and daughters you left behind will fall by the sword. And you will do as I have done. You will not cover your moustache and beard or eat the customary food of mourners. You will keep your turbans on your heads and your sandals on your feet. You will not mourn or weep, but will waste away because of your sins and groan among yourselves. Ezekiel will be a sign to you. You will do just as he has done. When this happens, you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. And you, son of man, on the day I take away their stronghold, their joy and glory, the delight of their eyes, their heart's desire, and their sons and daughters as well. On that day, a fugitive will come to tell you the news. At that time, your mouth will be opened. You will speak with him and will no longer be silent. So you will be assigned to them, and they will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 25 the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against the Ammonites and prophesy against them. Say to them, Hear the word of the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because you said, Aha, over my sanctuary when it was desecrated, and over the land of Israel when it was laid waste, and over the people of Judah when they went into exile, Therefore I am going to give you to the people of the east as a possession. They will set up their camps and pitch their tents among you. They will eat your fruit and drink your milk. 
I will turn Rabba into a pasture for camels and Ammon into a resting place for sheep. Then you will know that I am the Lord. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Because you have clapped your hands and stamped your feet, rejoicing with all the malice of your heart against the land of Israel, therefore I will stretch out my hand against you and give you as plunder to the nations. I will wipe you out from among the nations and exterminate you from the countries. I will destroy you, and you will know that I am the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because Moab and Seir said, Look, Judah has become like all the other nations. Therefore I will expose the flank of Moab, beginning at its frontier towns, Beth Jeshimoth, Baal Mion, and Kiriathaim, the glory of that land. I will give Moab along with the Ammonites to the people of the east as a possession, so that the Ammonites will not be remembered among the nations. And I will inflict punishment on Moab. Then they will know that I am the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because Edom took revenge on Judah and became very guilty by doing so. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will stretch out my hand against Edom and kill both man and beast. I will lay it waste from Teman to Dedan. They will fall by the sword. I will take vengeance on Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they will deal with Edom in accordance with my anger and my wrath. They will know my vengeance, declares the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because the Philistines acted in vengeance and took revenge with malice in their hearts and with ancient hostility sought to destroy Judah, therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am about to stretch out my hand against the Philistines. I will wipe out the Carithites and destroy those remaining along the coast. I will carry out great vengeance on them and punish them in my wrath. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I take vengeance on them. Psalm 116 I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted in the Lord when I said, I am greatly afflicted. In my alarm I said, Everyone is a liar. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Truly, I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. I will sacrifice a thank-offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. 
Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them round your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favour and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honour the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father the son he delights in. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundations. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the watery depths were divided and the clouds let drop the dew. My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked, for the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, Come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you, when you already have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor, who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason, when they have done you no harm. Do not envy the violent or choose any of their ways. For the Lord detests the perverse, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. The wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame. <laughs>